Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? Shall I say from Porky's Corner, the biggest goblin sport? We say the things on here that nobody dare say. Ain't that right? P -p -p Puppy Parsons! This is your life. Parsons, you got access in that good man. When are you going to start asking real boxing questions? When are you going to put it on your paymaster, Mr. Eduardo Hills, about the fact that Anthony Joshua is not the baddest man on the planet? The last champion he beat was Ruiz, who flogged him beforehand. He beat him in 2019. We're now in 2024, Poppy Parsons. Why aren't you asking Eduardo Hills who's going to be the next champion that Joshua beats? Because he's not beat anybody since Ruiz, who's been a champion. And that was 2019. Pop, pop, bang. Poppy Parsons, get them asked. Get them questions asked. All right. We also need this confirmation thing on this five for five. And we need you to ask Eddie Hills and Bricktop, do they agree with Turkey Al Sheikh, a.k.a. Willy Wonka? Do they agree with him picking one of the matchups? Since when have Bricktop and Eddie Hills ever had anybody pick the matchups and dictate to them? Or are they just walking around like little boys doing as they're told? Like little Cub Scouts, aren't they? Hey, no backbone. Sell their souls. That's what this is. Right. Here's the nitty gritty. Big Meech. He got totally schooled by Usyk. You couldn't give him five rounds if you could at a push in 24 rounds. Right. Since then, he's beat Franklin. Elenius. Wallin and Angano in his second fight as a pro. That does not warrant the hype. It's all hype like when he beat Charlie Martin yet again. Do not be fooled. Stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. People are just improving in the mid-30s. Oh, my God. The fight we need to be seeing, really, right? We need to be seeing... Big Meech against Fury, but there's that many permutations involved. They've made such a cock-up of it that they don't know whether they're coming or going. All we're talking about is permutations. There shouldn't be rematches for Usyk against Fury. The fans should decide. That's what's clogging up the system. Stop these rematches. Just have Fury fight Usyk, and then we'll piece it all together after they've fought. There's obviously plenty of money out there. You know what I mean? But this is how I look at it. With this fight that's up, 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 up and coming, Fury against Usyk, that's the next big fight, isn't it? But why is Fury strolling around like he's at the beach and strolling around like he's some king? I very much doubt Usyk's doing that. I bet he's training like a Trojan. Eh? We're getting back to Big Meech. He did what he had to do, but we're talking about a big stiff in his second fight. Max Jenkins has had two fights. He's got a better record than Ngarno. At least he's got a win. He's one and one, Max. Ngarno's not and two. So, would you put Max in with uh, any of them? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't even put him in with Dave Allen. So, it is what it is. So, I'm not I'm not falling for all this. All this baddest man on the planet. It's not Ngarno art. Well done. But did Fury carry Ngarno or, or is he really shot to pieces? If he's shot to pieces, he's here to pick up the money, right? And if he carried on Garno, he's a wrong one for doing that anyway. So either way, what happened? Or is he just that bad? We don't know. Or did Ungarno just box a safe fight? Just do enough to lose without being embarrassed. We're never going to get to know, are we? Because none of this lot can lie straight in bed. You know what I mean? So I see old Pop Pop Bang's gone quiet, hasn't he? So it looks like him, old Jam Roly Poly and... Uh, Mickey T, it looks like that's all over, doesn't it? Well, what do you expect? Nobody's ever seen any of them fighting donkeys years, have they? Hey, Parker Joyce, is that a good rematch? Yeah, it is. It's well deserved for Parker. Joyce has just got to run over Cash Alley in his next fight, which will probably happen in a round. Uh, the Bridgerweight talk at the moment is Bell Urozenski. Who cares? 
no doubt if that happens, you'll get all floodgates opening, and before you know where you are, where we are, we'll have uh, Willy Wonka. He'll be claiming Bridgeway at his division. Uh, I thought Nick Ball uh, and Vargas. I would happy withdraw me, and I've watched it again. You could make a case of Ball winning, but it depends what you're looking for, doesn't it? But with them knockdowns, you thought Ball would have won it, wouldn't you? By at least two rounds, wouldn't you? But depends what you're looking for, but. Tis what it is. Uh, Fury and Garno, that was the same sort of issue with judges. Uh, but like I said, depends what you're looking for. After a week, everybody forgets about it and they move on. What's the answer? I don't know. But they're throwing millions and millions and millions about in Saudi and it's just the same old, same old from judges, isn't it? So is the problem the promoters and the people putting the shows on? Well, there's something wrong. They've got all these millions and they can't get proper judges in. Pop, pop, bang. What's going on? When everybody's moving mountains to put these shows on and that, and they're forgetting what's most needed. Good judges. So, that's how I look at it, but it is what it is. So, okie dokie. So, thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. Right, I think I'm going to uh, level my pull table out now and get spirit level. All right. Pop, pop, bang, peace out.